Alright guys, I'm coming to you today to do a video on a specific niche. This niche is men's wing tipped shoes. We're going to source our products. You're going to look for the shoes at garage sales and thrift stores. And I'm going to bring out the brands that sell the most and give you the most money. Alright guys, let's get started. We're going to look up men's wing tip shoes. Excuse me. All right, we're doing a search for them on eBay. All right, now what we're going to do is it's always better to look in the soles because that is more reliable. So we're going to go up at the top, press the filter. Go down and click on show more. Look how many results we have, guys. Like 31,000 plus. That should show you you have a great niche here. And we're going to look for the completed. And sold items. And tick those buttons. If you tick one, usually it will select the other one as well. There is 839 sold results in a certain amount of time. Alright. <clears throat> now we're going to look at the ones that sold. Now guys, usually in the thrift stores, you can get these for about $5.99, $6.99. So, you can also plan around this on how much they are and then how much profit you're going to make. Okay, one of the higher selling wingtip shoes is going to be Allen Edmonds. You can see up here this one went for really a great amount of money. 100 and something. They had 199.99 but as you notice it's way up there. These black wingtip shoes new Allen Edmonds, new other went for a hundred and nine dollars and guys the condition of the shoe makes a lot of difference here we have a hundred and ninety five dollars for polo ralph lauren wing kick shoes and guys this is a great niche and you can make a lot of money on these shoes. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. Alright, it looks like we have several different sizes. Now one thing I want to state guys, the bigger type shoes the larger the shoe size the more money you will get so we're going to check the 10.5 size all right and look guys Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna bring up some brands that are really great. And floor shine look great. And I'm gonna try to filter and see if I can go by price. Alright, I'm going to start at the ones that go for, let's say, $75, all the way to $150. Alright. And this shows 110 results. You want to try to look for the higher end shoes that are going to give you the most money. Alright. Look at the Stacy Adams for 117. Guys, I would try to go for the shoes that are going to sell for $75 and better so you can actually make a great profit on these look at these floor shine men's dress shoes $75 I'm not familiar with some of these so I'm going to go with the ones that I know Allen Edmonds So we're going to look at them. Here's some more floor shine. That actually went the $50 for a good price because usually they go for more than that. Now Johnston and Murphy guys really does well. As you can see $139.44. Alden always does good. That's at $205. Again, some more Allen Edmonds. As you see, the names that are coming up here. And of course, if you see any Louis Vuitton, they always go for a high amount because they are way up there in value. Again, like I said, keep it at around $75 and above for your selling price when you're doing your comps on eBay when you're in the thrift store or at the garage sales. Look these up, guys. Just don't buy them. And look at the condition of the shoes. Okay? I'm hoping this helps, guys. And then we're going to go back and look at all of the sizes again. Alright, we're going to go back to news, wing, tipped, shoes. You can see all these ones that are for sale. But the first place I want you to go is going to be the sold because that will tell you in a true situation what these shoes are actually going for. Cole Home is a very good brand, $114.99. I'm going to hit on some of the brands. Floor Shine, $89.98. Guys, just look them up. Rockport usually does pretty good. Even though that's not $75, $53.09. But they usually do well.
I'm just scrolling down, letting you know which ones are selling. Kohan is usually pretty good. And I try to stick with the higher end wingtip shoes because you will get more money out of them. Alright, more Allen Edmonds. We're just scrolling down to look for the brands. Back in the day, there used to be a lot more and a lot more brands. And as you can tell, they got some beautiful shoes. And if you go to tr and try to buy these brand new, they are quite expensive. And I've made a lot of money on men's wingtip shoes. Just scrolling down to get the brands. Alright guys. We got Stacy Adams at a hundred dollars. Alright guys, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on over to the eBay calculator and that's going to show us our profit. I'll see you in the next video. Guys, this e-profit calculator is really a great calculator to use for eBay. I find it is very accurate. I'm going to do some scenarios here for you based on a pair of shoes selling for $100 and a pair of shoes selling for $75. All right. Let's go with the hundred dollars first. Usually, you can get them for at the Goodwill or garage sales for about six dollars. Your shipping depends on which way you want to send them. Sometimes they will fit in a padded flat rate mailer, which is usually about, and you can also put you know, some paper into them, fold it up, and, you know, so the shoes stay straight. And I've sent them that way, and they've been fine. Some people want to put them in a shoe box. I think they're around 12 or 13 is what they used to be. But we're going to go with a padded flat rate mailer right now, and then we'll do the shoe box. All right, the padded flat rate mailers, I believe, are 850, I believe been a while. Alright. And if you don't want to charge shipping to the buyer, just leave that blank. Alright, and your sold price at 100 Now guys, I will let you in on a little trick. Instead of doing $100, do $99.99. The reason I say this is because people look at this and see 100 and they're going to say, oh, that's too much. But when you're in the 90s, it's just something that they taught us with sales way back when I was in real estate or otherwise. And it kind of works, okay? So we're going to do it for $99.99. All right. Now, if you pay shipping, you still come out with $71.94. And now, if you say, oh, no, the buyer's got to pay shipping, you're going to put a 15 in here for the buyer to pay, then your profit will be $79.32. Okay? So then you can kind of get a little creative, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Say... You want to not charge the seller, I mean, not charge the, the buyer 
as much shipping. So what you're going to do is you're going to only charge the buyer like half of that. You can get a little creative depending on how much play you have. And if you only charge the borrower, you know, I mean, if you only charge the, the buyer $4 in shipping, and you're going to be paying the other $4.50. Sometimes it will make or break the deal. Just a few case scenarios there. Just letting you know. Now let's go back down to that 75 dollar pair of shoes. Just to give you the example. Alright, let's say... We're still going to sell them for the 99.99, remember, not 100. Alright, then we are going to charge the buyer for the shipping. Alright. Alright, so if you charge the buyer for that shipping, you're still going to make the 79.32. If you take some of that shipping off from the buyer, which sometimes does get the buy box, you're going to make 75.41. So you can see why if you play with these things a little bit, okay, this is on 99.99. Now we're going to go back and we're going to do one that's selling for $75. Alright. And we're going to have the buyer pay the shipping, the entire shipping. And you're going to still make $57.64 on this pair of shoes. Okay. Now if you charge the buyer just a little bit of shipping for four dollars you still make fifty three dollars and seventy three cents guys this is a really great niche it, this niche can be done full time it can bring in full time profit and guys like I said use this calculator Go to eBay while you're out there at the thrift stores and garage sales. And please enjoy and go there and make sure that you pick up some of the wingtip shoes. Do your due diligence and look on eBay and see what they are selling for. Always go and see what they are selling for. Alright guys, that about wraps it up. You have a great day and I hope this video helps.